Hi guys, I'm down here in our prep room where we prepare our diets for a lot of our animals including our meerkats. Now it is a little bit cold out there at the moment so I'm going to give them a little bit of extra food because they were looking a bit hungry earlier. Let's do it! So these are Morio worms which are a very tasty treat for meerkats so they're actually quite high in fat which just means they don't get them too often but they do tend to get them a little bit more in winter just because it's a bit colder out there just to keep their body condition where we want it to be. As well as the worms we're going to give them, what we do with our meerkats, we actually feed them like little and often throughout the day just to replicate what they'd be doing in the wild, like foraging throughout the day for their own food. So they do have some vegetables here, so not many people know our meerkats, they're really good on vegetables. They don't tend to like them as much as the worms, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to feed these first and then they can have the worms as a bit of a treat, like a bit of a dessert. eight meerkats we've got here at Cannon Hall Farm so I'm going to give them their veggies first so they've got some peppers and some bits of carrot but they like all sorts of vegetables really they like bushnut squash and other kinds of things as well well done they are quite hungry today I did actually feed them this morning as well like I said we do feed them like little and often throughout the day but it, the, by far their favourite food are their insects they get. So they get crickets, locusts, the worms I'm holding right now, but their absolute favourite food in the entire world. They do like a hard boiled egg every now and again, just as a special treat. And they do get like little bits of lean protein as well, like little bits of chicken. You're good, aren't you? They do need slightly more food in winter, so we do tend to feed them slightly more fatty things than we would do in the summer, just to keep their body condition where it needs to be. So we don't want them obviously getting overly fat, but we just don't want them dropping their condition because they do feel the cold being from the Kalahari Desert, but they've got their heat lamps and their comfy warm under underground burrows that they use as well. So they do, they do do quite well in winter. So in the Kalahari, it does actually drop quite cold, especially in the winter time. They've done really well eating their veggies here. So I'm gonna start giving them their treats. So the reason I give them the vegetables first is if they're filled up on worms, they kind of tend to leave the vegetables a little bit. A little bit like feeding children, I've found out. So do you want these? Yeah, you do, don't you? Well done. gone so that's it for this afternoon's feed i do do a, another feed later on in the day just before i go home just to make sure they've got plenty of food through the night it kind of seems like it's a never-ending job feeding our meerkats but i feel very lucky i get to do it so they seem to have enjoyed those morio ones and i'm really pleased they actually ate those veggies as well because sometimes they can take them or leave them so i am really pleased with the group we've got here so if you enjoyed seeing them having their meal today give us a like and a share if you can and thank you very much much for watching and we'll see you later